lot more electrical issues in school than we think. Here at South Bonnet High School, our biggest energy consumer are the light bulbs. And one way we can decrease that is by you switching to LED light bulbs. Energy Advisor states that nearly 70% of schools' energy usage goes towards space cooling, heating, and lighting. By switching to LED light bulbs, including CFLs, we can decrease hyperactivity, improve concentration, cause less energy usage, and cause brighter lights for the school. Another way to implement light saving around our school is not only through LEDs, but also through automatic lights in rooms that we do not use very often. According to Friendly Power, K-12 school districts in the U.S. spend $8 billion yearly on energy. As a school, we use a lot of outlets. We need to reduce the amount of electrical products we use, and we also need to limit the charging. I think power banks is a great tool to use instead of plugging up our phones. They make it a rule for a reason. They want to conserve energy. So let's take it and let's make a business out of it. Let's get the library or the school store to sell power banks to students. There's over 2,000 students that go to South Potting High School. And what if all 2,000 students had to charge their iPhone? That's a lot. But if we sell power banks to the students, it would bring down the cost of having to charge 2,000 phones by a lot. Here in our school store, we use a lot of things that need to be plugged in and used with our outlets. Like our fridges and our freezers, they need to be plugged up every single day. But there are some things in our school store that don't necessarily need to be plugged up, like our coffee pots or our cooking ovens. They don't necessarily need to be plugged up 24-7. That way, if we can just simply unplug them, that can conserve our energy and put our money towards somewhere else. More important, like LED and recycling. This will help us become more energy efficient. And also, I want to mention that I think the student body ourselves can be more wise about the things that we are plugging into our walls. We need to save as much energy as possible, conserve as much energy, and be more efficient with the things that we do. CA Gov stated that around 15% of school use of energy goes towards office equipment, computers, refrigerators, and other appliances. So that means all of the vending machines around school, all of the computers, all of the um, TVs, all of the refrigerators, all the printers, everything is, takes so much energy out of what the school needs. That is a lot of energy. In the environment, waste is a huge problem. So here at South Florida High School, by adding a recycling bin to each of the classrooms, that will help greatly reduce the waste in the school. Although recycling can be pretty expensive sometimes, it still does not use as much energy and as much money out from the school system as you would think. Being more outdoors can open up the classroom to many new areas. Also, being off of electronics can conserve more energy if we can spend it outside. South Potting, we have not one, but two outdoor classrooms that are never used. Why don't we? It's a perfect environment for a good day outside to get out of the boring walls of school and it doesn't cost anything to do it. We just use the natural light that comes from the sun. Let's see what some of the student body has to say about ways we can be more energy efficient at our school. We should really use the outside classroom more. We should turn off classroom lights when we're not using Students them. should use power banks more to charge their phones. We should recycle more. Thank you for listening and hopefully this inspire you to help South Paul to become an energy efficient school.